Microsoft Link. Getting started, an overview of Microsoft Link. Microsoft Link is an instant messaging client and communications application. It's a virtual connection between you and the people you work with that lets you talk, share your desktop applications, and work together in real time. This video will introduce you to the Link environment and how to get started. Link keeps you in the know with automatic updates about the people you work with. You may see where they are, what they're up to, whether or not they're available, even what they look like. It's integrated with your other Office applications by lighting up glowing presence icons so you can connect without leaving what you're doing. Link also helps you share. A two-person conversation can be turned into a meeting with many people in just a few clicks. Ideas, applications, documents, even your desktop can be shared. To get started with Microsoft Link, you may need to log into your Office 365 account and click on Install Link. This will bring you to the download area. You'll need to choose your language and which version you're using, a 32-bit or 64-bit system. If you're not sure what to choose, just go to your control panel and your system settings and you can tell under system type what type of operating system you're using. So I'll choose 64-bit and install. In a later lesson, we'll show you how to set up your contacts, but first let's take a closer look at some of the features of Microsoft Link. When you open the software, you'll see that there are three display options. They are located under your personal information. The first is the contacts view, which is the default view. Your contacts list will be displayed in groups and beside each group is a triangle. You can click on it and expand or collapse the selection. The second view is called Activity Feeds. This displays your contact activity, such as notes they've posted or any out-of-office messages. The third view is called Conversations. This displays your conversations history, such as instant messages, phone calls, sharing, or meetings. Within each view, you can organize a little more closely. For example, we can show all conversations, missed conversations, or miss calls if that's set up at your organization. Here we can show all updates, frequent updates, or even my activities. And in context we can organize by groups, status, relationship, and here we can customize our viewing experience even more. That was a brief overview of Microsoft Link. Now we're ready to set up your profile.